How to build a website with Shopify Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. For this occasion, we will talk about one of the best e-commerce platforms named Shopify and how to create a website with it. If you want to know everything about it, just get comfortable and stay in this video. Currently, Shopify is one of the most complete platforms for creating online stores. Many of the tools found on the site have been considered by some experts as the best for creating websites. Imagine everything you need and want for your company. Now, think how great it will be to get almost everything in the same place. Well, for over 10 years, this has been a reality with Shopify. On the side, in addition to creating your website, you can sell your products and services, have access to online markets, use social networks and be available to anyone on both computers and mobile devices. It is estimated that approximately today exists more than 1 million online stores that offer their products and services in Shopify. In case you want to design a virtual store with Shopify at some point, the steps you must follow to design correctly are Number 1. Sign up for Shopify The first task you must perform is to create a Shopify account in case you do not have one and doing it is very easy. Just log at Shopify.com, start a free trial, fill out the form with the following data your email address, a password created for the site, and a store name. Number 2. Complete the necessary data for the website. Although the first step gives great life to the profile of Shopify, on the other hand, it's essential to answer the following questions that will make the platforms, because the answers will be the values that will provide all the options and tools best suited to the style and nature of the site. Number 3. Add your products. Once you have created the basis of your space in Shopify, you can start adding your products or services to the platform. Although the decision to design the concept of the catalog is completely yours, it is advisable to provide the most important and specific information to users. Considering that many times the information handled by a product is too broad, among the most relevant data to add content are Title of the product or service Description of the functionality and benefit Price Clear and direct images Videos showing the use or results Specification of origin, weight and content Legal references current regulation, etc. On the other hand, if you want to provide a better image of your site, you have the opportunity to organize the space for type of product, suppliers, collections, comments and labels. Independently of what you offer on the website, the specification and details will vary constantly. Number 4. Select a theme for the site. When you answer the form in the initial registration process, the system automatically assigns you a default theme based on the answers you provided to the platforms. But this does not mean that it is the definitive theme that will represent your websites. Shopify provides various free templates with different styles, design and colors for your site. In fact, it is very easy to use them. Just click on the online store, select the option themes located on the left side of the menu, and once there, you will have the complete freedom to change the design assigned by the system.
If you believe that this video is interesting, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more content. Number 5. Customize your team. In case you want to add more details to the design, go to the bottom left of the page and select the theme setting button. Some of the aspects you can modify are color, typography, edge and frames, opacity, contrast and much more. Additionally, this option allows you to include buttons to share in social networks or to show a notification when an item has been added to the cart. Number 6. Modify the sections on the home page. Many times, the first impression is what counts and in the case of websites, occurs exactly the same. Therefore, it is important that you define how do you want customers to perceive your section and what do you want to inspire with the profile. When you have defined those two aspects, go to your home page, think what is the best way to organize it, then go to the option of editable header and footer that are on the menu. Use the tools available and modify the sections, changing them up or down. Edit the content, add more representation to the site or, on the other hand, if you feel that something is not quite necessary, in the section you can remove it without any problem. Number 7. Add more pages to your website. Although this step is not obligatory, it certainly adds a lot of more personality and confidence to the site. When you have a two or more pages in addition to your website, fortunately, Shopify allows you to add them and link their reference. Contrary to what many may think, this is very simple. Just click on the online store, choose the option of pages and add as many as you want. It is important to mention that this can be edited in the same way as you did with the home page. Number 8. Define the goal of your website. Initially, you start for defining the name with which the customers will find your site. Then click on the online store and select the preferences to find more site settings. Some of the terms you can set here are the title of the home page, target description, images to link social networks, and Google Analytics tracking code. Number 9. Configure the delivery options. If you want to concrete the purchase of a product or service, offer the greatest accessibility for users in the shipment. This can be done through the shipping and delivery option found in configurations. Once there, choose the national, international, local rates, the package size you use to send your products, among other options. Number 10. Connect a domain. Even through your website will be available with your store name that myshopify.com it doesn't mean that it is fully registered because you need to connect your own domain. In Shopify, there are several options on that aspect. You view, then click on the domain section and there you can buy a domain, transfer your domain from another site, or register a domain at Shopify. Select the option that best suits your needs and that's it. Number 11. Start your website. At this moment, your website is available online, but under the protection of a password, which causes that when someone visits the page, they only see a waiting site. To avoid that aspect, you must select a plan and obligatory buy it. Currently, Shopify's plans start at 29 per month and can be paid by credit card or PayPal. As you can see, 
creating a website on a platform as professional as Shopify is possible for anyone who does not know much about the subject and certainly the investment is not that all exorbitant. If at the moment you want to experience the mechanics of Shopify but you don't have enough resources, I comment that the platforms provide a free membership for 14 days with which you can make use of all the great tools for building the websites. There are no excuses not to try Shopify. Cheer up and create your websites. We have reached the end of this video, hope you like it, let us know what you think in the comments. If you like this video don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and activate the bell to be aware of all our new content.